I dropped out of high school and mom started doing her fitness thing and that really helped. I went back to school and I got my grade 12 and you get in a tough position and you want to give up, you can't, no matter what it is. I'm Carrie Lynn Clifton. I'm a single mom of eight kids. You're just always on the go. You're either running to hockey or soccer, rugby, doing dinner, homework. There's always something going on. It's a little crazy around, like all the time. Life moves really fast. You just have to enjoy every minute that you have. A couple years ago when we went to Wonderland, I couldn't get the lap belt down, so they were pushing on it. I had to lift up my stomach and try to roll it so that the lap band would go down. And as we were doing that, my daughter turned around and looked, and a horrid look on her face was, <gasps> and I was like, <gasps> She was a bit fatter. She like is tired stuff. <laughs> Lazier. Like if there was stuff on the floor, then she'd yell at us to pick it up, but it's like right in front of her. She didn't really have any drive at all for anything. I wasn't noticed, never felt like I was wanted. I always just felt very lonely so dark. I have a couple girlfriends who are quite large. One of them has been quite ill. I looked at them and thought, they have someone who can help them out with their kids. If I don't do something, who's gonna take care of my kids? They have their husbands, if anything ever went wrong. But all we have is her. I'm trying to show my kids that if you live healthy in the beginning, you don't have the big struggles at the end. not be able to walk down through the bus. I'd have to turn sideways. I'd worry that I was going to take somebody out with my butt as I pass through. Now I can just walk straight through. This is the weight I used to carry around. I can't even lift it all up at once. She's going to be able to do more with us. She's like actually off the couch and moving around the house. She doesn't yell as much as she used to. She lost 300 pounds. She literally would spend 15 to 20 minutes before actually taking a photograph, planning out how she's gonna hide behind us, how she's gonna arrange us so that way she's not seen. And she never smiled ever. Now she does. <laughs> There's always time in life to fit in some fitness anywhere. And you wanna just be out there living life, not wasting it away. I don't wanna ever be back to where I was. It wasn't just the weight that I was losing. It's taking away the darkness that hides all the beauty that's inside. And now there's a whole light where everything just shines through. I just feel like I can do anything. <laughs>